Hey guys and welcome back to my Club America career mode video. This is episode 3 of the series and I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. And as I promised in the pre previous video, I will show you guys exactly the lineup I would be using for our first game, our biggest game so far. It's against Guadalajara, our eternal rivals. It's El Clasico de Clasicos and as you guys saw, I had a couple of players right there. And if you guys are seeing right now, I'm inquiring for Cesar Montes to see exactly how much he cost. I know a couple of you guys wanted me to get him, so I'm really, really looking forward to trying to bring this center, defense, center back into our team as well as Jordan Silva a guy who was very very good for me last season in FIFA 16 looking to bring him forward and to hopefully have a pairing of two young center backs Mexican of course which is exactly what we're looking for in order to bring some homegrown talent but enough of this jibber jabber let's walk straight into the preparation of this match before we go on to anything else but before anything, don't forget to hit that like button if you guys are enjoying the series. Alright, I'm very excited to bring this back. And I'm trying to be as consistent as I can be. And as you can see right there, Robin Van Persing, number 20 of course in this lineup, is going to be starting for us. And hopefully he can bag loads and loads of goals, not only in this game, but for the remaining of the season. And as you can see right there. Beautiful, beautiful day, Stadistica with the floodlights on. It's night. It's looking like a perfect, perfect scenario for us to be able to start off the season with three points. And none other than beating our rivals, Chivas. And how great would that be? As you can see right there, the players debuting today are none other than Robin Van Persie, our big signing for the Centenario. Jefferson, our left back, who I think we were lacking in that position. And as well as someone who wasn't mentioned by EA, but... Pizarro, a very, very good young uh, center de center defensive midfielder or a holding midfielder, whatever you prefer. He is going to be crucial to this team. So, we're going to start off right here. I was very, very excited to get things going with my starting 11 squad. And as I start, things start progressing, we're touching the ball. We're trying to feel everything right here. Looks like Mike Arroyo is down on the pitch, but we're still moving the ball around here. We're trying to get something going with here. Our captain, Sambu. Taking the ball down to the line. Can he get a cross in? No, he can't. The ball is thrown out for a throw in. But it looks like Mikey Arroyo did not come up from that injury. And sad to say, we are going to see him go in the first couple minutes of the match. And Willie De Silva is going to have to take his spot for the remaining of the match. But we're moving forward here and hopefully hoping for the best. And then right there you guys see a shot. And it's a great save by Moe Munoz, who I think is has done so far so good to keep his spot i haven't really thought about bringing in another goalkeeper i think he's been solid for us so far and hopefully he can grow on that as you guys can see right there chiba's looking very very dangerous on the ball but nonetheless they put that wide but then again here minute 23rd of the match they're playing the ball very well they get an opportunity right here moy munoz is going to try to hoof that up Get something going for us. Pizarro is unable to get there first. And then we go right here with Chivas taking a shot. Moy Munoz being able to pair that away. And the header is gladly into the hands of Moy Munoz. And we walk away with a uh, little fortune that they didn't score on us right there. Then we're going to see Ron Van Persie here linking up with Oriol Peralta. Oriol Peralta trying to cut into his defender. The defender doesn't say anything. Takes him down. And it's a dangerous, dangerous free kick. And I thought about it. But who else to take it? But the man, the flying Dutchman, Robin Van Persie. So we take our aim. We take a look. We hit it. In three, two, one. And let's see what happens. And ladies and gentlemen, it's in the back of the net. Robin Van Persie scores on his debut. Minute 30. What a strike. The Flying Dutchman does ever so well to put that ball into the back of the net. The goalkeeper has no chance to get in there, even though he looks like he's about to. It's a great, great goal. And I was ecstatic to see Robin Van Persie get on into his scoring ways looks like the flying dutchman even though at 32 33 years old looks like he still has plenty plenty of potential to be a great striker in our squad so we're gonna move on here 40th minute close enough to the 40th minute and chibas was was not gonna lay down they were not gonna go out without a fight they were touching the ball ever so well it looked like you know even though we scored on them they still tried to be the more attacking threatening side and there you guys can see the shot from Polito 
it goes rolling into the hands of Moy Munoz, but and we get away with that. And now Robin Van Persie doing ever so well to hold up the ball. Although unfortunately for us, you know, it's kind of hard for him to really have anything going. But then we're here, I see. So Ruben Sambuesa, our captain, doing ever so well. And then he's going to go, and he's going to take a shot. And the goalkeeper, Cota, who just recently got called up for the Selección Mexicana, does ever so well. Comfortable save. And we're going to move on. A couple seconds of the match. Will we be able to get something before the last blowing of the whistle? And look at that. So close. So close. Great, great work ethic by, by Paolo Aguilar. Exactly what I want to see from him. Oriol Peralta unable to get there. But we go into the half leading 1-0. But then we're going to move on here. Early minutes into the second half. Chivas has an opportunity to get something going. But the ball is blown wide in that free kick. And they're going to be regretting that in again. Chivas looking dangerously trying to thread balls through into the back of our line. And we were kind of giving them that space. So I was trying to do my best to try to be able to close them down. And I thought, you know what? It's time for some substitutions. It's time to bring in a couple of fresh legs. Renato Ibarra would be perfect in this situation. The guy has pace for days, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to move on. It's going to be an important, important last 15 minutes of the match if we can get anything going right here. But then we can't clear the ball away right here. And we get punished for that. Chivas. Equalizes, it's Alan Pulido who gets the ball into the back of the net. Munoz unable to get there down in time, but it's a great, great goal by them. Let's say it's on our bad. We didn't clear the ball well, and we gave that opportunity to Chivas. So now we're going to pick things up right here. 84th minute of the match. I'm really trying to get something going right here. And Renato Ibarri, like I said, has speed for days, ladies and gentlemen. He gets through the back line. He puts it into the bottom corner, and that's 2-1 for us. 2-1, we're leading in El Super Clasico. It's looking like all three points will be coming our way. All we need to do is hold our line and defensively be sound. And hopefully, 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 we can get something going right here. But can we hold on into the lead is what I am asking. I'm going to see, as you can see right there, I'm going to go ultra defensive. I'm going to try to hit these people on the counter attack. In the meantime, though, can we just hold our shape? Can we get a tackle in? We have to make sure that Chivas does not get anything going back right here. But we're giving too many space right there. And look at that. Right away, just like that, they equalize. And it's frustrating because we had it. Our momentum was there. And we just we gave them too much space. We never challenged them for a tackle. And we never really went into it. And that's what happens. And we ended up giving the ball away. And then that was that. At the end of the match, it ends up being a draw. 2-2. Not the worst way to start off the season. Obviously not the best way to start off, especially against our eternal rivals. As you guys see there, they were the much, much better team. Sad to say. But we did our best. We did our best. And, you know, I'm glad to say that, you know, it wasn't that bad. Uh, but what wasn't also that bad was that Mike Arroyo was only going to be out for three weeks. So, uh, be able to bring him back into the lineup in three weeks' time. It's going to be great. And as you guys can see right there, Paulo Golds and Osmar Mares have been sold. We have a little bit more time, more more, uh, more money, which means we can potentially buy Derlis Gonzalez. But I said, you know what? I'm going to wait on this because now that I sold two defenders, I need to cover that gap. And the best place to cover that gap was going to be Cesar Montes because even though I was trying to go for Jordan Silva, who seemed to be the more cheaper option, it seemed to be that he actually had already left from Toluca to go into play to another team. So it, that option was invalid. So then I said, you know what? All right, I'm going to go with Cesar Montes. And luckily enough, Monterrey take the 5.2 bid that I made for him and now it was just a matter of negotiating terms on his contract and his wages and so I was trying to give him what he wanted I wasn't going to play games with him I was I needed a player I needed him to fill into that gap where uh, Paolo Goltz left in the meantime right now you guys are going to see that I'm going to use uh Valdez, Bruno Valdez in that position. He's tall and uh, he, he looks like he could be a very, very good player. But second game into the season and it's against Tigres. By far, if not the best team in Mexico right now. And as you can see right there, the two players to watch are definitely going to be the two foreigners, which is Gignac and Robin Van Persie. The two main strikers in the Liga MX and the two players that can really light up the league are going to go head to head and let's see who can come out on top here because 
it's gonna be a clash and it's gonna be a good one ladies and gentlemen we're gonna move on here in a minute 15 of the match uh, we're gonna have to throw in pretty close to the dangerous area. Robin Van Persie is gonna take it down, give it to Osvaldo Martinez, who's gonna play it off to Renato Ibarra. Renato Ibarra is gonna try to take a shot, it gets deflected, and it gets into the hands of uh, Nawal Guzman, the Argentinian. And then we're gonna move on just a couple seconds later. Robin Van Persie is gonna receive the ball, unable to really get dang things going right there for us. But we're gonna do good right here in order to press for the ball. Pizarro is gonna lay it off to Peralta. Peralta is gonna try to give it back to Pizarro, unable to do so. Great ball to Renato Ibarra, who sees Obelito making a run into the box. And then like that, with his left foot, puts an absolutely banging goal into the back of the net. And that gives us the lead against Tigres. 1-0 to Las Aguilas. And looks like the Felinos are looking to be catching up with us. And look at that. It's a beautiful strike. Puts it in the top corner. Buries that away. And it's a 1-0 victory lead to us so far. So good. And the Volcan, never an easy place to go. Especially, especially with this strong Tigre side. It was just a matter of time of holding things away. And we almost gave the lead right away. At, like Just like when we played against Chivas. But Moy Munoz coming up very, very big. Very proud with, with his performance so far. And then right there you see. Could have been called a touchback. But looks like the game doesn't do that here. So, uh... Pretty confident that things were going well for us. Minute 32, Robin Van Persie put the ball on his feet. Pizarro tries to give it off to Peralta, and it's greatly intercepted. Oh, and by the way, I didn't mention, this is the Tigres that bought Paolo Gold, so I think he was in the lineup. And then you guys are going to see right there, Sambuesa is going to play it, and then he's going to give it to Peralta. Peralta is going to square it to who? To Pizarro. And, like I mentioned, the young Mexican center-holding midfielder gets in the score sheet. I told you guys he was going to be one of the most crucial signings, even though he was going to be shadowed by the likes of Jefferson and Robin Van Persie coming to the squad. I believe that he was by far the most crucial piece in this jigsaw puzzle that we needed. Someone who was young, who had the talent, and who had the skills to flourish in this league, and he is definitely that player. I'm going to move off here with a corner kick. I'm going to try to get something here. Last couple of minutes before the match ends into the first half, Sam West is going to try to hold off the ball. Try to, try to wiggle away from his defenders. And as you can see right there, trying to get that ball into the corner flag. We get the throw in. And all we're trying to do right here is just waste time so we can go off into the second half. Leading that 2-0 victory. But if we can get a cheeky goal, that'd be even better. And then right here, we're going to play it off to Osvaldito. Osvaldito's going to give it off to Van Persie. Who just wiggles away, turns, shoots. But it goes wide. And that'll be the end of the first half. And at the moment, we lead 2-0. Now, again, we're going to move on into the second half. Things were going good for us. And as you can see right there, Renato trying to wiggle away. And he does. Renato Ibarra is just an absolutely amazing player. And Oriol Peralta almost puts that into the back of the net. Great last stage touch tackle by the defender. Has to be said. And Adidas were trying to get back something back right here. It was a it was a horrible, horrible, horrible defending sliding tackle by me. And Gignac tries to appreciate the opportunity, unable to get it going. And we were lucky to see that ball go wide because the Frenchman, the Frenchman is very, very good at putting that ball into the back of the net, no matter where he's at. And talking about getting lucky right there, the shot doesn't go so well. Moy Munoz is able to catch it. And again, lucky. Lucky for us. and But uh, the ball isn't cleared actually all the way. And now we got to get something going. And look at that. The opportunity. And again, Moy Munoz doing ever so well to get that ball out. And defensively, in the first half, we were actually doing very well. It's the second half. Obviously, Tigres being at home was trying to bring push, push their lines more forward. Really challenge our defenders. And they were actually doing a pretty good job about it. But I was happy with the Paul, uh, Pablo Aguilar and the... Uh, the Pablo Aguilar and uh, excuse me oh that was barely the end of the first half oh oh no that was the end of the game and uh, yeah we ended up winning 2-0 I guess there wasn't really much after that you gotta excuse me sometimes I forget exactly how some games went out um, but we do get a contract except from Cesar Montes so it's gonna be great even though like I was trying to mention 
uh, Bruno and Pablo Aguilar actually had a very good partnership right there, keeping the clean sheet. It looks like Cesar Montes is going to try to come in, push his way into the starting lineup, and he could be a very, very crucial signing for us. And as, and as you guys can see right here, uh, they actually want to purchase Guemes, and I'm a bit hesitant. He's he's pretty good, although he is 24 and only 69 rated. I said, you know what, he has potential, but if you can give me 2.5 million for Guemes, then he's all yours and I'm willing to part with him and I'll tell you why because we have the likes of Pizarro now on there and we have the likes of Osvaldito Martinez, Ruben Sambuese who can fill that position, William Da Silva and of course Chepe Guerrero. So for the meantime, I wouldn't mind letting him go. So if they were to come back and say, you know what, here's the money and they actually do come back and they say, here's the money. Um, then you know we're gonna part ways with him hopefully that extra bit of cash will be able to bring us more more money but um guys it's gonna be a short video here i'm gonna leave it at this um, i'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the t league table right now we're in sixth place you know one win one one draw uh nothing too bad it's things are holding up so far so good and uh, Robin van percy has found his goal now we just gotta build on that so i hope you guys are enjoying this please leave a like subscribe for more and let me know how you guys are liking the video so far in the comments down below, okay? Um, very excited, like I've been saying. It's a short video, only two, ga only two games. I'll promise you guys that'll bring you a little bit more games. But until next time, guys, take care.